and welcome to Let's Talk Wellness. Now in today's episode is something very special. As you all know, uh, we celebrated World Breastfeeding Week from August 1st to August 7th. And as we come to the end of this week, I think we should end on an informative note. So let us first discuss the benefits of breastfeeding for your infant and for the mother. Breastfeeding has many, many benefits for the infant. The first one is that breastfeeding protects your infant from infections, allergies, eczema, etc. Breastfeeding protects your infant from gastrointestinal issues such as upset stomach, diarrhea, etc. Breastfeeding also gives passive immunity to your infant. Breastfeeding protects your infant from SIDS, that is sudden infant death syndrome. And breastfeeding also uh, reduces the risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes and uh, heart disease in future. Breastfeeding for the mother also has certain protective effects in that it protects the mother from uh, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, etc. Uh, it is also a very calming and, uh, you know, stress relieving um, time for a mother and a child. Uh, breastfeeding also increases the bond between the infant and the mother, making both the mother and the infant very secure. And uh, breastfeeding is obviously very economical as well as it is um, ecologically uh, a sensible thing to do. So with all these benefits of breast milk, uh, I mean, there are many, many more that I'm not listing in this video, but with all these benefits, now we understand why it is important for us to breastfeed. And with that, I would like to come to uh, describing to you what types of breast milk there are when you, when a woman first gives birth to a baby, the first milk that the first milk that is expressed is called colostrum. Now this phase lasts for about two to four days. Colostrum is thicker in consistency it appears yellowish and it is also called as liquid gold and the reason for that is because it is very rich in proteins antibodies and vitamins these antibodies are the ones they are like a gift from the mother to her baby that give the baby passive immunity against several infections the next phase is called transitional milk transitional milk phase lasts for about 1.5 to 2 weeks now in this phase your milk is now transitioning from colostrum to mature milk. Now in transitional milk you'll see that the fat content increases as well as lactose. Now mature milk is uh, the if the milk that you know that then throughout the infancy and up to two years is what your uh, infant is being fed. Now mature milk is it, in one single session of feeding it will come out as poor milk and hind milk. Now, four milk is the one that is rich in fluids, which takes care that your infant is not dehydrated. Um, it is also very rich in proteins and vitamins and the hind milk is rich in fats. So it is very important for your baby to have both the four and hind milk during a feeding session. The four milk will make sure that your baby is adequately hydrated. Hind milk will give your baby's, uh, baby all the calories that it needs to grow well. Now, whether you are a first time mom or a veteran mom, sometimes breastfeeding can be a very, very stressful experience. And this is because during the first month, when both the baby and the mother are learning, the breast, breastfeeding process is a learning curve for both, both the mother and the baby. And so that time it can feel a little bit stressful. Usually it is because uh, most women feel that they're not making adequate milk. Sometimes this can be true, it can be a cause of concern and definitely your healthcare provider will be able to help you out with that. But oftentimes it is always a feeling based on the fact that my baby is crying a lot, my baby is asking to be fed a lot and that is why I'm not making enough milk. This is what many people tend to believe. So today I'm going to show you a little visual about how your baby's stomach looks in the first 10 days of his or her life. So I have here a little visual and I got this during one of my certifications uh, with the Michigan uh, Department of Public Health. Now if you see this little small, uh, it looks like a starter marble, it's that small. So this the capacity, this is your newborn stomach on day one. Okay, this is the stomach capacity and it is only about 5 to 7 ml. Okay, now as your baby grows at about day three, uh, it looks kind of like this which is like a small line 
and the capacity is about 25 to 30 milliliters. So obviously as you can see this kind of stomach can fill up really fast and it can also empty really fast and that is why your baby wants to feed so many times during the day. Now by day 10 your baby uh, your baby's stomach is kind of going to look like this like an egg um, it uh, the capacity is about 60 to 80 milliliters of uh, this size stomach so this is why your babies feed that often um, uh, in the early stages and also uh, crying is always misconstrued as the baby is not being happy about something but honestly that is the only mode of communication that the baby has and that is the baby's way of communicating with your brain now as you know that oxytocin is the hormone that is your letdown hormone that is the hormone that makes the milk um, that helps you express the milk so uh, you also may have heard that uh, when when a mother hears an infant crying oxytocin causes this letdown so this is really true and this is how the baby communicates with the mother's brain and this is how uh, that is why all of this is called a nature's miracle for a reason so uh, please do not stress out if you feel like uh, you're having difficulties feeding uh, always talk to your healthcare provider sometimes your anxieties is are not really uh, medically concerning and for any questions that you have regarding lactation or breastfeeding, please subscribe to us, contact us at www.richamodak.com and we have comprehensive programs for pregnancy and lactating women and we will be there for our patients by uh, through WhatsApp or email and try to answer almost all of your questions um, because I understand how much anxiety you may face as a young mother and so we are, we are here for you, we understand what you are going through. So with that, please support breastfeeding and congratulations to all the women who have breastfed, breastfed their children um, exclusively up to six months and all the way up to two years of age with appropriate introduction of solid food. If you want any more information and training regarding how to introduce sol solid foods to your children, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you so much for watching this video.